Otter 841 is back in the spotlight, and this time it looks like she has a little sidekick with her. Kiaiwan's Anna Torea live for us tonight in Santa Cruz. And Anna, you talk to people who have been following her journey. What's the reaction to the pup? Hey, good evening, Veronica. Mark Woodward has been following Otter 841's journey, and he tells me that over the past several weeks that he did notice her belly get a little bit bigger. So you can imagine his surprise when he came out here yesterday and he saw her with a pup. Surfers were out on the waves Wednesday afternoon, but for Mark Woodward, he was keeping an eye out for 841. Well, 841 is the only otter that I have seen come even close to surfers, and now she feels very comfortable around surfers. She's also the only one that I've seen come this close to the shore. Woodward's been following otter 841 since mid-June. Ever since, she kept stealing surfboards. So what keeps bringing Woodward out here? I lived in Santa Cruz my whole life, take a lot of photos of our wildlife, and I realized a couple of months ago, 841 was the first wild animal I have photographed that I keep seeing her and I know it's her. Woodward loves photography and has taken multiple pictures of the otter, developing a connection with her. Just watching her and she seems a bit like a rebel. And even months later, people are still coming out here to look for otter 841. They're using their phones, binoculars or cameras to try to catch a glimpse of her. David Christie also came out to look for Otter 841 with his binoculars. Since uh, 841 had uh, 841's and plus one, uh, the baby, the pup, uh, I decided to come out today because I heard I saw it on Twitter last night. So I said, I gotta. I gotta check it out. But with the news of 841's pup spreading, there is concern that people could disturb the otter's home. What does worry me is tourists or locals that want to get close would get on a paddle board or a kayak. 841 isn't the only one out here. Both Woodward and Christie urging people to look at the otter and its young baby from a distance. Woodward says if you want to catch 841, this is going to be one of the best spots to do it at a safe distance. I also heard back from U.S. Fish and Wildlife about 45 minutes ago. The agency tells me that they are working to confirm if Otter 841 did in fact have a pup. They also add that they are keeping a close eye on her behavior. They also tell me that there are no plans to evade, to capture Otter 841 at this time. Reporting live in Santa Cruz, Anna Torea, KION News Channel 46. Yeah, she's been evading fish and wildlife. Anna, so my question is, maybe you can go by the ice cream shop and ask of Otter 841 plus one is going to get their own ice cream flavor. Veronica, <laughs> that's a good idea. Maybe on my way home, I will stop by Marianne's and see if they're planning to make um, a pup Otter 841 ice cream. If there is, I'll let you know. But you know what? Ice cream definitely sounds like a good idea right now. We'll report back on the flavor. Thank you, Anna. And of course, southern sea otters are protected under the Endangered Species Act, the Marine Mammal Protection Act, and California state law.